Hey y'all, my name is Mallory Paulino from Stay at Home Mallory. I post all kinds of homemaking and cleaning content and today's video is going to be an extreme whole house clean with me. We have a lot going on in our home at the moment. Um, Zach was working from home last week so my cleaning schedule was thrown off so it was already messy as is but we're also moving some things into storage into the, um, the laundry room. So we've got boxes all over the place and we've got a shelf that I need to put together so we can move some things into there for storage because we are also setting up Elijah's bedroom soon. So we've got boxes from that everywhere. We have, what else? We've got a mattress in the playroom because we just got a new mattress. So we don't have a way of getting that out of here quite yet. We just have a little Ford Focus, so we're gonna have to borrow my mom's truck to take that mattress to the dump. I've got a lot to catch up on, so I don't wanna do too much talking right now because I know it's gonna take me all day to get this done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on into it now. All right, I decided to bite the bullet today and go ahead and clean the playroom. Y'all know that usually when I am cleaning the whole house, especially when I have a lot to do, I kind of skip over the playroom because it's a playroom. There are always gonna be toys everywhere. Just like as soon as I got done cleaning, there were toys on the floor again anyways, but oh well. And you see we have this giant mattress up against the wall and on the other wall we have our Christmas tree and some tote bins that are gonna be moved into the laundry room soon. But like I said earlier, I'm waiting for Zach's help on that one. We're going to do that this weekend because we're hoping that if we put things in there, it'll be a little bit more accessible than having them in the shed, but also out of the way because we had been keeping most of that in Elijah's bedroom, which we are now setting up. So we can't keep it in there anymore. All right, now we've got the playroom done. It's not the most ideal right now with the mattress and all of these boxes in here. But like I said, we're working on, we gotta clear that out and put that shelf together in there. But that is a project I will need Zach's help with. So right now we're just kind of dealing with it. The kids have got enough room to play anyways. I just wanted to show y'all this new like knife set that I got and scissors. I actually just needed the scissors because we have a knife set that they're all dirty right now, but I needed the scissors and y'all know I'm obsessed with pink as you can see here, but this was really cute and I'm thinking of maybe using this to replace the knife set we already have. 
I don't know yet. We're gonna use these for a while, see how good they are because they were really cheap on Amazon. And now, as you can see, we have pretty much every single dish in our house is dirty and in our sink. I really, really need to get better at doing the dishes daily, like making it a part of my routine. But that, along with putting away laundry, as I always say, those are my two least favorite things. So I avoid them like the plague until it's to this point where we actually didn't have a single clean plate. So I can't stop or I can't um, hold off any longer and I have to do it. And then it takes me like an hour just to get it done because there were so many. And today we had a lot to hand wash too because it wouldn't fit in the dishwasher. I don't know why I always procrastinate this and every single time I do and I get them all clean, I'm like, hey, I could easily get into a routine. You know, every single night just run the dishwasher even if it's not entirely full, I could make that a routine. But then I always just let the dishes pile up for like a week again. I don't know why. I also wanted to mention that I had been eyeballing these scrub gloves, whatever you want to call them, on Amazon for a while, but I just hadn't convinced myself to buy them yet, but I saw them at Marshalls for a couple of dollars, so I went ahead and got them, and I really, really like it because I feel like it's easier. You're not having to like hold an extra thing in your hand or whatever. I don't know. You just use your hands to clean it. It actually was a lot easier than using a sponge or a scrub brush. But anyways, now I'm going to clean off the countertops because I haven't done that in way too long. And I don't know how well you can see what I'm doing right here, but there was a piece of electrical tape that Brooklyn had wrapped around the back of our chair like a month or two ago. So I'm finally cutting that off now that I have a pair of kitchen scissors because I couldn't really get it off with a knife. But yeah, anyways, that's what I was doing here.
All right, now we have got the kitchen done. Those boxes are just gonna have to stay until we get a chance to do a fire. The bag of trash I'm gonna get Zach to take out. Those shoes and trash cans do need to be scrubbed, but I'm gonna do that later because I have all these dishes drying in the sink right now. I'm going to just let them dry for a little bit longer and then I'll put them away. Hopefully, I don't know, sometimes I forget to, but yeah, that's what it looks like in here. The floor was covered in crumbs, so it's nice to have a clean floor to walk on for now. And next, we need to tackle all of this in here. It was at this point that I started contemplating giving up for the day. I don't know how the living room got quite this messy. Zach was working from home last week, so that kind of threw off our schedule, but we were still, I felt like we were still cleaning every day, sometimes twice a day, and somehow it was still this messy. I don't know. I've been doing better at making a routine of cleaning daily, but <laughs> somehow it just got out of hand this time. And so now I'm trying really hard to make sure it doesn't get this bad because it took so long to clean this. That's why I have this sped up so much was because it took probably like an hour just to get the living room clean.
All right, I really had doubts if I was ever going to get this living room cleaned or not. It's a lot of clean laundry we probably won't get to putting away today. Uh, we're trying to flatten out his pictures because they came rolled so tightly I had to lay something super heavy on it to keep it flat. But anyways, I'm not sure how many crumbs you could see when I was vacuuming this area here. I think we already have, oh no, that's just a Lego. But there were so many. I'm gonna let the kids keep their toys out, obviously. But yeah, didn't think we were gonna get that done. So today I have Brooklyn in here helping me clean. Normally I can just ask her to pick up her bedroom and it doesn't have to be spotless, but she knows kind of where to put things. She kind of has her own little system going anyways. But today there were like, I think the toy box was actually empty. So everything was on the floor. So of course she needed my help. And with me filming anyways, I figured it'd be a perfect opportunity. We work together and the kids actually don't fight cleaning up too badly, especially when we all sit down and do it together because we kind of make it like a game all together. Like I'll say I'm gonna beat them and I'll try and clean faster than them, but I'll kind of let them win. And you know, we just make it a game and make it fun and then they willingly participate. And like I said, usually I can tell her if there's not too many toys in the floor where it's overwhelming to her, usually I can just ask her to go pick up her room a little bit and she'll do a really good job. And Elijah's bedroom, you're about to see that here in a second. We have finally started setting it up. I think right now the only thing we have officially set up is just his bed. But we're about to start setting that up, so I'm hopefully gonna, you know, start teaching him the same because Brooklyn's done really well with it. So hopefully he will be the same, but with him being a boy, I have no clue. It is so much cleaner in here. We've gotten into a new routine where I lay Elijah down to bed at night. So Zach comes in here with Brooklyn while I'm doing that and they play together and they always just dump the entire toy box in the floor. And then by the time I'm done laying Elijah down for bed and it's Brooklyn's bedtime, we're all tired and just put her straight to bed with a giant mess right here as you guys saw earlier. So that's why it was such a big mess. Usually we do a little bit better about it, but hopefully we'll start keeping it a little bit cleaner because that took a really long time, even though I did have both kids helping. So these things over here on that back wall are definitely going to be going out of Elijah's room. We are just waiting for, like I said before, that shelf to be set up this weekend. And here in a second, when I turn the camera around, you're gonna get to see his bed. I'm so excited about it. The kids have already been playing on this like crazy. We decided to get him one of those low loft beds. You can still kind of like fit under here. So they've been kind of using that as like a little hideout. And of course they've been sliding and climbing and having so much fun on it. Um, we got Brooklyn a really cool canopy bed and got Elijah a really cool loft slide bed, whatever you want to call it. I'm so excited about their rooms. We've got a lot of really cute things coming in for his room too. We have most of it in right now and I'm filming that whole process. So I've already started filming it. I don't know when it'll go up because I don't know when we'll be able to finish putting everything up. 
We've got a few more things coming from Amazon and then we're gonna set it all up together and I'm so excited because I'm in love with how Brooklyn's room turned out and I know Elijah's room is going to be just as cute and he is so, so excited for his truck truck bedroom. If you're new here, that's what we're doing, the theme for his room because he's obsessed with all things truck and construction related. So it's gonna be really cute and keep an eye out for that. All right, and that's all for Elijah's bedroom. Those boxes are gonna go in the laundry room when we get that storage shelf set up. We got some random donation stuff. And his bed, that's pretty much all that's in here. But we've got a lot of fun stuff coming in. We've already got some of it that I put in the closet for now. We're probably gonna build more of it when we get all the stuff in. And I'm really excited for all of that. So keep an eye out for that video. But that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some intense cleaning motivation because I know, as you can probably hear, I'm out of breath right now. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.